Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Accessibility and iPads are something that we spend a lot of time on here, and Josh is going to show us the Tecla switch interface. Uh, hi, I'm Josh Rekoloff, and we are going to talk about accessing the iPad with a single switch. Um, it's, um, it could be used for basically anyone, but mainly this is going to be for an individual in a wheelchair. Um, the product is made by Komodo, and this box over here is called the Tecla Shield, and it is actually Bluetooth connected to our iPad over here. Um, and uh, my big orange and blue thing over here is my switch. And right now we're going to use a single switch um, for somebody that doesn't have the ability to touch two switches at once. One switch, but we'll go over how to do that. Um, connected to this Tecla Shield is also a joystick that can be mounted to a wheelchair and used to cycle through different applications as well. So that's how we're going to get started. Um, I have uh, the device itself, the Tecla Shield, does need to be powered through USB cable. That's why it's hooked up to my computer. And our switch is hooked in to uh, one of our ports there. Now there is um, a secondary port for two switches, like I said. But right now we're just going to use one. Alrighty. Um, so, if I tap a single tap here, iTunes, it music. is actually going to scan New through. Folder. Zero music. It's going to scan through everything Mail. as I touch it. Um, and if you hold it for a certain amount of seconds, that's going to give a different command. So holding it for one second is going to allow me to select something, and two seconds is going to allow me to toggle the keyboard on. And you can scan through the keyboard just like we did with the applications by tapping the switch once, as Mail. we do here. iTunes. Double tap. So Selected. I hold it down for iTunes. two seconds. All genres. Button. One of five. And it, and it selected our music for us. And we can still scan any page on the iPad. Um, this also works for the iPhone. The interesting thing about this device is it does require you to have voiceover on, um, as well as Bluetooth connection. So to get to your vo to get to your voiceover, you're going to want to go into Settings, General, and then down to the bottom of the page in Accessibility, and you'll see Voiceover, and just slide that button on, and you'll turn the voiceover on. But once you're Bluetooth connected and you have the voiceover on, you're good to go. Uh, the last thing about this device is it comes with these link locks, arms, and you can actually use uh, what they call Dulock Velcro and attach the iPad to this and have it clamped on to a wheelchair or whatnot. That way the person can just roll up and view their iPad. They don't have to have it resting on this table, which may be difficult for them if, they're, uh, if they can't hunch forward or look down to see it, it can be right right where it needs to be in their field of vision. So this also came with it, and to show you what the Velcro looks like, we've just got two pieces of adhesive that come together. So one piece goes on the iPad, the other piece goes on the clear plate, and they're connected. And that is my tech tip for the day about the Tecla Shield. So isn't that a cool way to access your iPad? That's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.